In Good Shape, your health magazine on DW, featuring an interview with a different expert every week. When you go to a doctor, he sometimes need to take your pulse, like this year. I'm a GP myself and I know there are different kind of pulses. They can be slow and they can be fast. But if I go to a traditional Chinese medicine doctor, he knows about 28 different kinds of pulses. Hi, Mrs. Enger, thanks for inviting me into your clinic. You're a traditional doctor for Chinese medicine? Yes. Right. Um, where do you find those pulses? On both sides, um, on the right and the left hand side. And usually you find them if you, if you apply your fingertips on each side and you take actually three fingers on each side. And each uh, position, the left position has like a superficial pulse um, and then you go a little bit deeper and then you have a deep pulse. So there are three levels of, of pulses and that's what you do on both sides. Interesting with, uh, with the 28 pulse uh, qualities you just uh, talked about is that you really find different pulse qualities on each patient. So some patients have a very long pulse. A long pulse goes up to here, for example, or some patients have a very deep pulse. So you really have to press hard in order to find any quality of the pulse. And then you can also find uh, like a wiry pulse, we call it. It's a very tight quality of pulses. So what do you know after you took the pulse? After, um, after, the, uh, after I've taken the pulse and the tongue, usually in combination, I can ask often questions to confirm what I feel and then uh, I can have an idea where the problem lies of the patient. So whether it's a digestive problem or it has um, other um, issues. If, if you take a look at the background or the, um, uh, of traditional Chinese medicine, it's, it's a complete different system than like we use here in Germany in the European version of medicine. And what are the differences? Uh, first of all, um, the language is different. So usually uh, <laughs> when, I, when I talk about the liver, uh, liver in, in, in your system is a complete different idea to what I uh, learned in Chinese medicine. So, so, so the liver for a Chinese doctor is not the organ we know which sits in the upper right um, abdominal area. Exactly, so usually for us it's, um, it's a functional system. So a liver has a certain um, function. So when the liver doesn't work properly or the flow of the liver doesn't work properly, uh, patients might um, feel headache quite often, often in stressful situations or it feels a pressure underneath the rib cage. There are different um, symptoms to one organ where we can define uh, where the problem lies. And do you use those Western diagnostic systems like ultrasound or MRI scan? We do, especially here in this clinic. We work in a hospital here, so we have um, possibilities to actually um, ask our colleagues to check certain patients where we're not sure about and we would like to have the support of Western medicine. So it's a very integrative method then. Yes. Yeah. And, and the other way around, does it work the other way around, that your colleagues from the Western medicine refer patients to you as a yes, Chinese doctor? That, that works as well, especially for um, uh, colleagues that suffer from pain and they need to have a quick re um, result because they need to work again. So that's why we, they come here and we do acupuncture and certain other techniques. So, so pain is one thing. Um, and, and what were the other main diagnosis or um, illnesses you'd like to treat? We, we treat um, internal medicine from digestive um, problems, uh, sleeping disorders, um, emotional disorders as well. There's a vast variety of, of possibilities for Chinese medicine. Acupuncture treatment is perhaps the most well-known um, therapy in Chinese medicine. Where do you find all those points on the body? It's easy to find on each patient because each patient has uh, similar landmarks. So like uh, no matter whether I treat a child or um, a grown-up, you can also just measure that by certain landmarks, uh, bones, muscle, and then it's easy to find those 365 points. There. How many points do you treat uh, at the same session? Uh, it depends really uh, from 1 to 20 different points. It really depends on the patient and the condition. Can you show us how you treat yes. it? So what I use is um, I use an um, acupuncture needle, which we use only once, very thin, um, 
stainless steel needles. And then I use a, a guide tube, which uh, makes it much easier for the insertion for the patient, uh, okay. because acupuncture is uh, pain-free, and so you can just... And that's all? That's all. So, how do you feel, sir? Nothing, <laughs> almost yeah. nothing. Almost nothing. Yeah. So it's not that painful? No, absolutely not. And what happens in the body after you insert the needle? Um, the insertion of the needle just um, regulates inflama inflammation processes and also the circulation that um, in Chinese medicine we call it the flow of qi and of blood that we stimulate with the acupuncture. So, so qi is the energy which is flowing qi through is it. Qi yeah. en energy, exactly. So you try to, to relieve certain blockages of the body uh, by using the needles. But there's even a Western point of view when it comes to acupuncture that there's some hormones and neurotransmitters are secreted after you, you press with the needle. Or exactly. There are lots of different uh, scientific um, researches that, that has been done on acupuncture. And you can see that uh, the changes of hormones and even the blood results. Some, some of my patients bring me blood results. They change it throughout the treatment as well. It's quite interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Acupuncture is one side of Chinese medicine, the other side is herbal treatments. Um, so, so what do you do with this kind of treatment? Herbal treatment is also important in order to treat uh, certain conditions. So we, we combine acupuncture with herbal medicine. Mm -hmm. And uh, herbal medicine, um, they are usually we use um, a combination of, uh, of herbs, usually between 5 to 25 uh, Herbs. If I would have, for example, um, osteoarthritis, um, de degenerative bone disease, and there's no traditional Chinese doctor in my vicinity, so I have no chance to go to a traditional Chinese mm -hmm. doctor, but I want to use these herbs. Can I go into a pharmacy and treat myself? Uh, usually you need a certain prescription in which it's, po it's very important to get a correct diagnosis in order to get a good result. So what we usually do, we have lots of international patients that come to us for a consultation and then if they live away, far away, we usually uh, they take the herbs for one or two months home and then they come back to us. I got a lot of questions concerning traditional Chinese medicine. One from Qatar. Uh, Shalima al Kuwari wants to know if you can treat cancer with means of TCM. Um, we have many patients that come with cancer and um, they use um, therapies like uh, chemotherapy and what we can do, we can support uh, the treatment uh, by giving them herbs, acupuncture, to reduce the side effects of, of chemotherapy. So you don't heal the cancer, but you can, can lessen the side effects of the traditional we Western medicine. Exactly. Thanks so much for inviting me into your clinic today. Thank you. And thank you so much for demonstrating the acupuncture with us. Thank you.